Okay guys, uh, we're going to take a look at our next project here. And as you can see here, we've got a little hole behind the existing shower. And um, it was just used to be just an access panel area to get us uh, access to the valve in that. My wife wants uh, some shelving put in here. So we're going to go ahead and uh, put some uh, shelves, put some towels and other accessories on uh, in this area. So let's get started.
So I lost the video clip showing the install of the face framing, but I did use three quarter inch maple on the front of the cabinets. Okay guys, uh, so you can see I have a few holes here I want to fill in and generally when, when I'm painting something I'm just going to use some spackling compound. This is 3M high strength um, spackling compound. And what I like about it is it goes on real easy, doesn't really need much of any if any sanding and it doesn't shrink so you can just fill in the holes. And just wipe it off, let it dry, and if you feel it needs a little sanding, go ahead and hit it with some sandpaper, and it's ready to paint. 
I'm just going to go ahead and fill in the rest of these and then we'll get started painting. And it also dries really quick so um, you know you don't have a lot of time down while you're waiting for this to to dry. Okay guys, so what I've done is I've taken a piece of uh, just some plywood stock that I'm going to use as my straight edge and uh, I marked off here, I've got about a 3 16th of an inch difference from the top of the molding uh, down to the bottom. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place it on here. I already marked 3 16th of a difference down there and I'm just going to put this on this point here. And I'm going to put that on my 3 sixteenths. And I'm just going to go ahead and put some pinner nails in the part of it that I'm not going to be saving. So, <clears throat> let me just make sure we're at 3 sixteenths down here. And these are just going to help keep the the molding from moving on me. Okay, so I put a mark here and then I measured what that distance was so that I could set up my blade properly. And we're going to go ahead and get started cutting this a cut. Okay, so you can see here there's really no additional profile and as we work our way down to this end here we've added quite a bit of thickness to that profile. We're just going to clean this up and we'll go inside and see how it fits. All right, everybody, here's the finished project. And as you can see, it looks, uh, looks pretty good and it's given us some additional storage. So I hope you enjoyed uh, this project and uh, look forward to seeing you on the next one.